Hi, everybody. I'm Maria Claudia Alves. This is week five assignment, Teaching Gender and Equity. I wanted to make a comment about the um, article in Professor Webb's lecture um, in The New Yorker about Beth's um, name and how she changed it to Beth. Um, all three women in my family have had this uh, dilemma. My mother's name is Teresinha Alves, which is a very difficult name for Americans to pronounce. And when she was younger and working, she went by Teresa. It was easier for her employers, and that's what she went by. Then um, later in life, she decided, no, I'm going to go by Teresinha. And I also think times have changed, and people are more open to different names, um, different sounding names, names that are pronounced in a different manner than they're used to. And so um, people do repeat her name after she says it. They um, do try to get it correct. So that has been interesting to see. And my sister's name is Maria Teresa Alves, and she goes by her full name. Um, when she started high school, she went by Terry, then she switched it to um, Teresa, and now she goes by Maria Teresa. Um, she allows me to still call her Teresa. She says she likes the way I pronounce it. My name is Maria Claudia, I go by Claudia, and um, I'm, I'm happy with that. I use Maria Claudia in all my documentation um, and legal matters. I make it a point that everything has my full name on it. Um, as far as my on-screen credit um, for SEAL Team, I'm going by Claudia Alves, but um, I did direct a short and I put directed by Maria Claudia Alves. When I direct again, my directing credit will always have my full name, but as far as my producing credit, I'm happy with Claudia Alves. Um, I did like the um, portion of Gary Howard's um, um, article about impact versus intent. Um, that is so important. Um, someone's intent might be pure and innocent, but the impact might be offensive or hurtful. And I think life is messy, life has mistakes in it, and as long as you open up an area for dialogue and you can explain yourself and then explain that you will try better, you will be better, um, and that you accept someone's um, hurt feelings over something that you did not intend to do. I think that um, goes a long way. And um, the other thing is I found my, so my students are um, university age, um, in my particular case, I said Southeast Asia, and I was looking up some information. I did some research. I went to Boston University, so I went to their website, and I found a couple of things that were interesting. They have a resource, is Understanding the Power of Language, Living Language Guide. And here, there are sections where you can find some um, further information, and they have Fundamental Concepts ability and neurodiversity, culture and ideologies, gender and sexuality, race, racism and anti-racism, religion and spirituality, social justice, socioeconomic status. So there is a lot of really good information here. And the other thing I found was um, a list, um, and this is very good, especially since we discuss um, vocabulary, and this is gender and sexuality, and it is a list of terms, of gender and sexuality terms. And it's a good way to, um, to broach this subject of diversity and gender and equity. And there were a couple that I, um, definitions that I really found interesting. Agender was one of them, which is a person with no or very little connection to the traditional system of gender, no personal alignment, with the identity under the non-binary and transgender umbrellas. Some agender individuals have no gender identity, although some define agender as having a gender identity that is neutral. The other word that I um, came across that I've come across in my life and have actually seen a lot of on Twitter is mansplain, which is when a man explains something to a woman in a condescending way when he either one, doesn't know anything about it, or two, knows far less than the woman he is talking to. And I found that very interesting. 
And I would cer I'm would certainly putting this in my um, research area to go back to all the time. And I hope you enjoyed this and that you found some interesting information. Thank you. Bye.